come and visit the family. Words are made of letter people, A, B, C, D, follow me. The letter people, today meet Ms. E. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Miss E's my name. My sound is the same sound that starts exercise. Eh, eh, exercise. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Miss E must be one, exercising two, three, four, again one, every two, time three, when I'm trying four, to catch a few Z's. Three, four, well, I'll put one, a stop two, to that. Three, Oh, hey, one, up there, Miss E. Three, I'm trying one, to snooze. Two, Hold three, it four, down a one, little. Two. Hey, Miss E, you're tearing down the... I wonder if people in Zanzibar have this kind of trouble. Zipping zippers, look at this mess. Nearly an enthusiastic entrance, Mr. Z. Look at my apartment. Just look at the mess you've made. Who's going to help me clean it up? Who's going to fix my ceiling? Who's going to help me repaint? Who's going to Don't help me? Don't be such a worrywart, Mr. Z. With my strength, I'll have it fixed in no time. Now let's bend our elbows and clean this place up. Well, come on. Zip out of there. If you'd start exercising, Mr. Z, you'd start building up muscles. Get strong. Here, take a look at this etching. Ow, wee, the cable broke. And you're holding up the elevator. You're really strong and full of energy, Miss E. Not only that, but elevator starts with the same sound that starts exercise. Listen, elevator, exercise, elevator, exercise. You're right again, Miss E. Elevator does start with the same sound. Take a look at this one. That elk was about to be hit by that train. See how I stopped the engine? Engine. Exercise. Engine. Exercise. Say, engine starts with the same sound that starts exercise. I hear it, Miss E. Engine. Exercise. What an education I'm getting. As my employer, Evelyn, the newspaper editor, would say, elementary, Mr. Z, elementary. And now that I've enlightened you, let's direct our efforts toward fixing up your ceiling. Think we'll finish in time? You have to be on the catching game this evening. No problem, Mr. Z. We'll make it. You forget, I'm full of energy because I exercise. I feel extremely weak, poor little me, Miss E. Too weak to work or speak, poor little me, Miss E. I've got to exercise, 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 jiggle my toes. get going. Mind if I come along, Miss E? I'd like to watch your performance on the catching game. Not at all. Gives me a chance to try out a new story on you. It's filled with lots of words that start with the same sound that starts exercise. See if you can catch them, Mr. Z. Over the hill and through the elms and round a narrow bend, 
The Emerald Emperor sits on a throne ruling Rainbow's End. His eloquent robe, embroidered with gold, dazzles the darkened miles. But his face is so wrong, so empty and long, you see, he cannot smile. Now, with the help of the Emperor's elf, the wizards gladly made plans for a ball in the Great Hall, enhanced by an epic parade. Elephants and evergreens, eggs and envelopes, elves and elks and eloquent Eskimos with ropes. But not a one made him laugh. He sat as hard as stone, till from the crowd, any edge creeping toward the throne. I'll make you laugh, make you smile. <laughs> It's really quite a simple thing. I'll tickle your elbow. Now all is well in Rainbow's End. Joyous laughter does endure. And thanks to Eddie and his tickle, the Emperor has been cured. And boys, ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads, it's time to play the game everybody loves, the catching game. And now here's the star of the catching game, Monty Swell. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, one and all audience. <laughs> and thank you, Tom Fargo. <laughs> Welcome to the catching game. And now let's meet our first contestant. Here she is all the way from Chillicothe, Ohio. Edna Grump. Let's welcome her, huh? <laughs> so good to have you here, Edna. Are you ready to play the catching game? <laughs> I'll give it a whirl, Monty. <laughs> good. <laughs> then just whirl right around and take a look at the picture on our magic board. Now you have five seconds to tell me what you see. All righty? Whirl. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> okay, Edna, what's in the picture? Oh, um, um... Uh, Waiting for uh, the Robert E. Lee, Edna? Uh, <laughs> Sometime today, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, that's a pen. Good, good, that's a pen. Now, Edna, you're familiar with our clue boxes? I, I, yes, I am. All righty, now then, tell me. Which letter person are you going to call out here to get into the starting clue box? <laughs> Um, um, oh, let's see, um, pen, uh, pen. Uh, <laughs> Sometime today, Edna. <laughs> uh, uh, pen starts with the same sound that starts pointy patches. B uh, bring out Mr. P. You're absolutely correct, Edna. <laughs> Mr. P, come on out here and get right into the starting clip box. I think I know your brother, Mr. P. He's a patchwork quilt. <laughs> uh, that, that's a joke, folks. That's a joke. It's a little question. <laughs> all right, all kidding aside, folks, and Edna, <laughs> uh, who should we call out to get into the catching clue box? The catching clue box? Mm -hmm. Oh, gee, uh, this is tough. Yeah. Um, um, it has to be a letter girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Uh, pen, uh, pen. Um, I hear the same sound that starts exercise. Um, call out Miss E, Monty. You're right again, Edna. <laughs> Miss E, the catching glue box is yours. But watch out for those barbells. They're a real bell ringer. <laughs> Did you like that, Edna? <laughs> okay, now, good, Edna. Now we come to the ending clue box. Whom shall I call out? The ending sound I hear is the same sound that starts noisy nose. I'd like Mr. N to get into the ending clue box. Oh, come on out here, Mr. N, and honk for Edna. <laughs> She's just won round one of the catching game. And now the prove... Easy, Edna. And now the prove that Edna is right. Here are the letter people making their sounds catch. Pen. One more time. Pen. Thank you, thank you, letter people. <laughs> Tom Fargo, what has Edna won? Well, Monty, Edna has won not one, but two pens. 
pen. That's right. And the first pen, Edna, is a genuine old styrene plastic ballpoint pen. It's great for writing letters and addressing envelopes. And hold on to yourself, Edna, because the second one's an authentic pig pen. <laughs> it's a beauty, too, made of extra sturdy evergreen lumber. This handsome pen will bring all of your pigs hours of enjoyment. Congratulations, Edna. Monty. Thank you, Tom Fargo. Now we'll be back with more of the kitchen game after this message. Capital E. Lowercase E. Both make the same sound that starts exercise. Is it on straight? Do you think it's on straight? Can you somebody tell me if it's on straight? Oh, <laughs> we're back, we're back. Now moving right along, Edna. Three of the letter people are already in place. Who is in the starting clue box? Mr. S. Uh, his sound is the same sound that starts super soft. That's right. And now who is in the catching clue box? The one in the middle. Yes, the one in the middle. Uh, Miss E is in the catching clue box. Uh, her sound is the same sound that starts exercise. Excellent, Edna. And now in the ending clue box. Oh, I know. Good. And uh, that's Mr. T. He gets his sound from the same sound that starts tall T. Excellent, 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 Edna. <laughs> and now I'm going to ask the letter people to make their sounds catch. Now you tell me what word they're making if they're making the right sound catch. Now listen carefully, Edna. They may try to trick you. Letter people, make your sounds catch. Set. Oh dear. I, I don't think I heard all of that. Not, 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 Edna. Because you've been such a real trooper this evening, and just a little bit on the slow side, <laughs> I'm gonna have the letter people make their sounds catch one more time. Set. The word is set. And the letter people are making the right sound catch. Set is it. You are fantastic, Edna. Isn't she fantastic, oh. folks? Isn't she? Because <laughs> she close back to somebody, Trisha. <laughs> Real walking encyclopedia. <laughs> now, just one more correct answer, and you will win round two of our game. Look at the magic board, Edna. You have five seconds to tell me which of the pictures is a set. Now, remember, Edna, it could be a set of something. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 that's it. That's the one. That's a set. A set of dishes. A set of dishes. You're right, you're right. And today's grand prize winner. <laughs> Tom Fargo, take her away. I take it away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, hey, you've won yourself a set of beautiful dishwater safe dishes! That's right, this beautiful set will add charm and grace to any dining room table. And get a load of this, and uh, hold on to your hat, because in addition to that set of dishes, you will also get to set the dinner table! <laughs> yes, tomorrow night, during Monty Swell's fourth annual autograph party, you will get to set that set of dishes on his dining room table! <laughs> Congratulations, Edna, and thanks for playing the catching game! Monty? Thank you, Tom Fargo. Thank you, Edna. And thank you, audience, for playing the catching game. Hope to see you all again next time. Goodbye, everybody, and kissy, kissy. <laughs> we are? Hmm? Are we are? <laughs> <laughs>